Lincoln said that he had always been anti-slavery. He was anti-slavery by nature. It was an instinct to oppose slavery. He said, I have never known when I haven't thought that way or felt that way. Now, he did not take immediate action as an activist against slavery for many years until 1854, actually, because he had been convinced that slavery was a dying institution. It was on its way out. It was guttering out. And the safest way of dealing with it was just to let it die out on its own. And then it could die a perfectly peaceful death and people would not experience any kind of great national rupture over it. It did not happen that way. Instead, in 1854, the Kansas-Nebraska Act symbolizes a resurgent slave power, which looks towards expansion, not guttering out. And it's at that point that Lincoln goes into high gear as a public opponent of slavery. But all his life, he, he really found slavery something that grated on him personally. He found that it contradicted the premises of uh, the American Republic and uh, the very principles of liberty and natural rights. So he had all along a grievance, a bone to pick, an opposition to manifest against slavery. But it took the actual aggression of slavery in 1854 uh, for him to move into a public stance opposing it, and that is what leads eventually to his election as president in 1860.